Hey guys, this is Nifty Culture. I'm Nifty Mike. Today I'm going to be talking about the steps that you need to take in order to set up a Tezos wallet so that you can shop for Nifties on the HIN marketplace. A lot of people have been talking about HIN. It's kind of, you'll see some links thrown around. It's kind of a newer marketplace. Um, it's a little bit niche. The really cool thing about it is the prices are extremely affordable. So some stuff is like in the five to $10 range. I think Malachi is going to do a video about this a little bit later. So I'm just going to focus on just getting you set up so that you can shop around on there and maybe purchase your first Nifty. So the first thing to do, just to make sure that you're not going to accidentally end up in any scam site. So go to the Tezos homepage. And you're going to want to pull up the Get Started link that you'll see in the upper left corner. The page that you land on there will have a link to open a new wallet, open a wallet, and that'll show you um, the available list of wallets that are at least reasonably well vetted by the Tezos team. The one I personally like is Temple Wallet because it's integrate, it'll integrate with um, your browser, kind of similar to MetaMask. So if you're coming from the Ethereum world, like a lot of people who are familiar with Nifties, then you're going to be familiar with how MetaMask works, and you're probably going to be familiar right off the bat with how Temple works. Um, you can click this link here if you want, or you can just completely skip this whole step and go to google.com and then search for Temple Wallet. Just make sure that the one that you're clicking on is templewallet.com. And if you're trying to be really, really careful, don't want to accidentally make any mistake, then you can click the little lock and make sure that it says site information for templewallet.com and connection secure. Um, once you're here, you'll see the install now button up in the upper right corner. You can go ahead and click on that and then pick which browser you're using. I already have Temple installed in my Chrome browser. So for the sake of this demo, we're going to be installing it into Firefox. The one you're going to want is the Temple Wallet, which will say um, formerly Thanos um, by Madfish Solutions. So go ahead and add that to Firefox. And it's going to give you a couple of security prompts. You can just say OK to those. So now um, at this point, basically, you can see we're, it, we're running the extension right now. We're not on that uh, download page anymore. So on this page, the thing to do is to click Create a New Wallet. And you can enter a password. Doesn't really matter what you do, although you should probably make it a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, the next thing you need to do is um, back up your seed phrase. I'm going to go ahead and move this off the camera so that I can back it up since I am going to be temporarily sending some money to this uh, account for the demo. Once you have it backed up, then it's going to say, make sure you back this up because if something happens to your computer or whatever, you're going to need this. I personally um, use a ProtonMail uh, email account that, in order to store all my stuff in. So that's kind of an okay way to store stuff. Some people would print it out and put it in the safe um, or in a safe deposit box. Just depends on how much money you're going to be having in the account. For stuff like this, I, I'm not going to have very much money at any point in time in, in my um, working wallets, like maybe a hundred bucks or whatever, whatever I'm about to buy with. So it's not really, doesn't need to be super secure for me. So anyway, make a copy of your seed phrase just in case. Um, click continue. I personally um, usually don't do the uh, usage tracking just because I know that they're using it for like quality assurance purposes, but it feels a little bit weird in the crypto world. So I usually say cancel to that. But if you're feeling generous and want to communicate or contribute to the community, you probably should click uh, to allow that. So now you can see I have my wallet created. It's pretty much starts out empty, um, but that's basically done. I have a wallet now, so I could in theory go ahead and go to hidden, but let's go ahead and throw some money into this account 
so that I can go ahead and make some purchases if I want to. So <clears throat> the easiest way to buy um, Tezos right now is going to be through Coinbase. Uh, you could just use your existing Coinbase account and um, fund it with a bank account or debit card, whichever one is most convenient. I already have a little bit of Tezos in my Coinbase account. So I'm going to go ahead and send some to that wallet I just created. So that's super easy. Basically, um, come back in here, copy your address to the clipboard, uh, come back in a Coinbase, copy or paste in the address that you just copied, and then just say how much Tezos you want to send. So let's send like 30 Tezos, which is enough to probably last you like a month or more months on hand because you can buy probably at least 15 to 20 pieces of art with just 30 tests. So it's super, super cost effective. That's the really cool thing about it. Um, go ahead and send that transaction and you'll see my wallet over here. Um, it's going to estimate about 30 minutes, but I haven't really ever had to wait that long. I think that's probably because they're doing some pretty um, aggressive number of confirmations just to be safe. Okay, so um, everybody should have two-factor authentication set up on all their accounts, and so of course I do too. Okay, so it's confirmed that we've sent the 30 Tez to my Tezos wallet. So I'm going to move that back off screen. Um, let's give this a minute to uh, update with the confirmations. While, while it's, we're waiting on it to confirm, let me go ahead and um, bring up Hen. So Hen is kind of a weird name. Um, it, that's the acronym. It stands for His et Nunc, which I'm told is a Latin phrase that means here and now, in case you're wondering about it. So let me go ahead and um, we want to go ahead and sync. So your wallet is basically lives on this extension inside your browser. And when you land on whichever marketplace you want to use that Tezos wallet, first thing you always have to do is sync the wallet with your um, extension. So um, when you sync the extension with your uh, extension, that will allow you to start using that wallet inside of the whichever marketplace you're going to. So I'm actually, I realize I don't want to make a purchase with this temporary wallet. I'll probably send that um, Tez back to my other uh, Temple wallet. So I'm going to switch over to my Tezos that's uh, to my um, Temple wallet that lives in my Chrome browser. Okay, so uh, I showed you that sync option. So when you, after you've synced the extension with Hen, you'll see your wallet address in the upper right corner. And this is a piece um, that I found previously that I've been meaning to buy. And as you can see, it's listed for two Tez, which is basically about $5 right now, which is really, really good. Granted, uh, Tez was going for almost $7 a couple weeks ago before the crash. So this guy's going from about $14 down to $5, which is just one of the challenges of listing in, in a cryptocurrency. But the nice thing is um, for me, that ends up being a great uh, discount for this particularly awesome piece. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that I want to make this purchase. And it'll submit the uh, operation, and you can always validate on on the Block Explorer that um, the transaction's going through. And it'll usually take a minute or two for for stuff to propagate. So this one's still showing as pending. So while it's uh, while it's pulling that up, uh, let's go back to let's go back to Hen and just kind of browse around a little bit. And one interesting thing about Hen is, and I don't want to steal too much Malachi's thunder later, but like I said, the prices are really um, cost effective and some of the art is really actually, I mean, it's as good as any other marketplace. So um, 
some of it gets a little bit chintzy like this one definitely feels a little bit chintzy but some of the animations are pretty good and it's definitely got some it requires a little bit more hunting if you want to find something good but just the fact that you can come up on here and spend like two to five dollars instead of something like 500 to a thousand dollars is really cool okay so let's check on our transaction okay looks like we are All right, there you go. That's is the wallet that I just made the purchase in. Uh, and this is the piece I just bought, 70777. So um, as you can see, it's super easy. It's just as easy as anything that you would use MetaMask for. Uh, that's definitely one of the reasons why we love it. Sometimes the site will get a little bit slow because it's definitely a growing site, um, but uh, definitely is worth checking out. If you wanna see some more information about HIN, um, we actually put together a pretty good guide on nifticulture.com. So basically everything I mentioned in here, um, plus a lot of extra information uh, is, is on the site. And I'll be posting this video alongside that article on the site too. So in case you wanna um, track this down later, just, just, just go to nifticulture.com and then search for HIN and you'll find this article. All right, guys, well, thanks for joining and that's everything I got for today. Talk to you guys later.